Hi, welcome. I'm Mira from Flow with Mira. Today's class is going to be Gentle Pilates for Beginners. It's a perfect class if you are a Pilates newbie or if you're looking for a gentle Pilates workout today. So let's go ahead and start the class. We're going to start lying on our back. So turn into the side of your body and then go ahead, find a supine position. Now we're going to start with a little lovely morning stretch. Keep your right, sorry, your left knee bent and stretch your right leg long. Now stretch your right arm overhead. Now as you inhale, I want you to lengthen the right foot and the right arm away from each other. Exhale, retract. Again, inhale, reaching away. Kind of like a little morning yawn here. Exhale, release. Two more here. Inhale, feeling the hip opening away from the waist and the rib cage reaching and opening away from the waist too. And release. Last one, in breath. And let it go. All right, bring the leg in and then we'll stretch the left leg out on the floor. Take the left arm up and go ahead, inhale as you stretch the hip away and the arm and the shoulders away. Exhale. Now here, can we go as long as possible? And exhale, retract. And two more, in breath. Last one. Well done. Bring the foot in and then take the right knee up to your chest and take the left knee up to your chest too and hold on with your hands. Now I like you to compress the thigh bone to your chest. As you inhale, try to lengthen the pelvis down to the floor. Exhale and release. And again, inhale, press the thigh bone to your chest. Try to lengthen the pelvis away on the ground and let it go. In breath. Last one. In breath. And release. Now keep holding on to your knee. Now let's do some hip rolls here. So, sorry, hip circle. We press the thigh to your chest and then we open the thigh bone away and bring it away from the body and together. And bring it in, open away and together. So we're circling the hip joint and bring it in. Inhale and exhale. In breath. And exhale, just starting to mobilize the hip joint. In breath. And exhale. Last one here. Last set, in breath. And exhale. And let's go the other direction. Let's go away from the body, out into your chest and away. Out into your chest and away. Inhale, one round. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, in breath, exhale, last set, in breath, and exhale, last one here, and exhale, and let it go, let's lower the foot down, one, Two, have your feet hip width distance apart. Take your arms long by the side. Your knees about 45 degrees here in a flexion position. Now, moving on to our pelvic rock, we in breath. As we exhale, using the lower abdomen, I'd like you to press that lower back down to the floor. And now release back. So just rocking, exhale, we rock. Compress the lower back, the bottom comes up. And an inhale, release. Exhale, we rock. Inhale, release. Two more. Again, mobilizing the pelvis here. Using the abdominal muscle. Last one. And let's take it further into a pelvic curl. So we start with the pelvic rock. Press the lower back down to the floor. Press the feet and start lifting the pelvis up using your hamstrings and your abdominal. So I'd like you to really try to pull the abdominal wall towards the back. 
Press the side of the shoulders down. Can we lift the pelvis a little higher and press your arms down and press the big toes down to the floor so you can fire up the inner thigh muscle. Then we breathe out. We roll the spine down, starting from the top of the spine, middle of the spine, and lower the spine and the pelvis back. And let's do it again as we breathe out. Abdominal comes in to pressing the lower back to the floor. Then we peel the spine up to that bridge position. All right, your hamstrings are active here, abdominals are active here, your glutes are active here, your arms are active, inner thighs as well. Then breath out, let's roll it down from the top. Middle back, lower back and then the pelvis let's do that again exhale we roll up up in breath exhale we articulate down vertebrae by vertebrae and let's do that one last one exhale we roll up right up inhale and exhale we roll it down and release the pelvis back to the neutral neutral position. And I want you to place the feet on the edge of your mat here. And then take your arms out to the side into a T position. Okay, now moving to our hip rolls, I'm going to drop my knee to my right. As I inhale, exhale, back to the center. And then drop the knee to the left as I inhale. And then exhale and to the right, in breath, exhale, inhale, drop it to the left, and exhale, and to the right, and exhale, and to the left, one more each side here, you start feeling the hips starting to open and center. Let's walk your feet back to the middle. Now, bring the legs together, feet together, thighs together. Let's move on to our spine to supine here, but we're gonna keep it, keep the feet on the floor. Now, rotating from the waist, let's go to the right. I like you to keep the legs together this time. So they're traveling together as one unit. Exhale, come back. And over to the left, rotation comes from the waistline, the legs stay together. Exhale, center. And to the right, exhale, center. Over to the left, I like you to keep the shoulders down on the floor. So your arms are active, pressing down to the floor. And again, one more each side, to the right, exhale, center last one to the left exhale come back to center all right let's stay in the middle keep the left foot down on the floor take the right leg up to table top now we're going to stretch the leg up and now go into dorsiflex so reach the heel up to the ceiling so you feel a stretch at the back of your leg and then we bend the knee again and then we flex the foot and reach the heel up and we bend and then reach out again. Just a little gentle hamstring stretch here. Two more, reach out and come back. Last one, reach out, hold. Now you may extend the left leg down on the floor. Okay, now here, let's move on to our leg circle. So we're going to bring the right leg across the left and then we're gonna drop it down and then catch it up. And then exhale, and up. Let's go in breath, one round. Exhale, one round, in breath, one round. Last one, exhale, and stay. Let's go the other way. Let's go out to the side, down across, in breath. And then exhale, and then in breath. And in breath. Last set, inhale. And exhale, we stay in the middle, point the foot, bend the knee, take the foot down. Let's bring the left foot in. I'm just gonna scoot myself up on the mat. 
Now, keep the right foot down on the floor. Let's take the left leg up to tabletop. Now here, we're going to stretch the knee and dorsiflex the foot. And we bend. Again, we stretch the leg and we fall. And we stretch and back. Last one. And stretch and let's stay. And go ahead and extend the right leg down on the floor. You can actually keep it bent if you wish to. Okay. Now let's go across to the right side and we're gonna swing it down and we catch it. And we exhale and we in breath and we exhale and we in breath. Last set. And we exhale, we stay. Let's go the other way. We go in breath and an exhale and an in breath and an exhale. Two more in breath and an exhale. Last set in breath and an exhale. We stay, point the foot, bend the knee, take the foot down and then bring the right leg in. Keep them hip width distance apart and then slide your arms overhead. All right, let's go to a hundred prepositioned. Right, so we breathe out, let's take the arms up and then we lift the chest up and taking your arms down by the side of your pelvis here. Now I'd like you to really use the abdominal to lengthen the back down on the floor and can we come up a little higher? And then take the arms up and then return back down. And let's repeat. As we exhale, arms up, then we lift the chest. In breath, arms, and, and down. And exhale. In breath, and come down. Let's do two more. Exhale. In breath. Last one, exhale, and in breath, and come on down. Well done. Now I'd like you to stretch the leg closer to me, and then down on the floor, and then turn your body facing the side. All right, here, tuck the knees in again, stack the legs together, and have your feet aligned with your spine interlacing your hands at the back of your head. Now I'd like you to lift or engage the underneath side of your body. Okay, so your spine in a beautiful straight line and your bottom waist or obliques is activated. Right here, moving to a chest opener. We inhale as we open the elbow and rotate back, looking behind you. Exhale, come on back. And again, we inhale. Exhale, and in breath, let's do two more here. Exhale, last one, inhale. Exhale, and center, release the top hand, place it in the front of you, and reach the bottom arm underneath you here. Now stabilize the pelvis, let's move on to our climb. So we're going to open the top leg, keep the pelvis stable, and then we close. And we exhale, and then we close. And on three, let's do 10 of this. And four, and five. Make sure your pelvis doesn't flop backward as you open the knee but really the movement only comes from the hip joint. So you're activating the external rotators of the glute muscle. And again, two more. All right, last one, and release. Extend the top leg long, and let's take the bottom foot forward a little bit more here, okay? Now reach the top leg long and lift it up, and then just relax the foot. We're gonna do a little circle here. So stabilizing the pelvis, you can actually place your hand here if you like. We take the leg forward and up, circle around and back. And let's do two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, nine, and 10. The other way, one, and two, and three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, and nine, ten. Reach it long and then release down. Bend the knee, help yourself up. Coming up to a little mermaid position. So watch my leg. Position here. Well done. Let's take the underneath arm up to the ceiling and go ahead. Give yourself a nice beautiful side stretch here. Try to have those sitting bone grounded on the floor. And then open chest, long arm and stretch away. And come back. Okay, let's go to the other side. So we start with the chest opener. Tuck the feet together, knees together, interlacing the hands behind your head, lifting the underneath side of the body. Okay, now here, let's go, inhale. We open the chest, exhale. We close, and in breath, and rotate. Exhale, we close. Two more, in breath. Exhale. Last one. And exhale. Come back. Okay. Now extend the underneath arm. Okay, let's move on to our clam. Again, stabilizing the pelvis and we open the thigh. And we close. And in two. Say so we did ten on the other side. We're going to do ten here. Three. And four, five. Again, you can place your hand on the pelvis just to give yourself a little tactile cue here. All right, and I lost count. I think we've got two more. And two. All right, last one. And release. Okay, moving on. Stretch the top leg. Take the bottom foot forward. Okay, reach the leg away and relax the foot. Let's go to legs. Circle one. And then two, and three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. The other way. One, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10, reach away and then bring it in on down. Bring the knee in, help yourself up into a mermaid stretch here. And let's take the underneath arm, bring it up to the ceiling. Can we go as tall as we can? And then take yourself to a nice side stretch here. Again, open chest, long back, and let's take it lower. Okay and let it go. All right, let's face the front of your mat. We're gonna move on to our spine stretch. So I like you sit perching on the pelvis, on your sitting bone. Create a nice long spine here. Now stretch your legs, if you can, otherwise you may bend the knees and have your feet slightly wider than your pelvis here. So I like you keep the upright position and stretch your legs as much as you can and dorsiflex the feet. Now, once you have that, take your arms forward. All right, let's breathe out and articulate the spine down. So we're gonna roll down and forward through the spine and then just tip the pelvis forward at the end and exhale. Let's roll the spine back up again and bring your body into upright position. And again, exhale with knot the chin down to your chest and then continue articulating the spine forward and down and then hinge the pelvis forward at the end range in breath. Exhale, pick up the belly and then roll up the spine and come up into a beautiful long back. And again, two more. Exhale, we roll down. We hinge forward at end, in breath. Exhale, we roll up and we come up. Last one. Exhale, we roll down and tip the pelvis forward at the end range, in breath. And exhale, roll the spine up. And this time, can we just take your arms up to the ceiling and can we create that beautiful long alignment of the spine? Stretch it up, stretch it long, and let it go. All right, 
Bring the feet in, go into a quadruped position, and then we are going to finish up with a cat stretch. So, shoulder and the heel of the palm in one alignment, knee and your hips at this alignment too. And then broad shoulder, breath out, pulling that belly in. So you wanna have a beautiful, strong kind of table-like position here. Open chest, long neck, and then as you breathe out, we are gonna pull the abdominal wall in, and then we're going to flex the spine. And what it is is rounding the back, and then lengthening through the spine, passing the neutral, now hold the lower abs, and then take the upper chest up into extension. Keep the neck nice and long here. And then breath out, push the floor away as you draw the abdominal wall to your spine, rounding the back, and then through a neutral spine, hold the pelvis, hold the abdominal, then take the upper chest up to extension. Again, we breathe out, rounding and flat and sternum forward and up. Again, we breathe out. And back to a long back. Inhale, upper back. Extend into an extension. And last one, exhale, rounding. And through neutral. And then as you inhale, take the upper back into extension as you arch, hold the abdominal so you don't sack the lower spine down to the floor. And back to the neutral. And then I want you to send the pelvis down to the heels and then stretch your arms along away from your shoulder, away from your pelvis for the rest position. Let's give me one set of breath here. We inhale, exhale, and an in breath. As we exhale, let's roll the spine up to a seated position, lifting up nice and tall. Well done. That's all for today. Thank you for joining me. I wish you a lovely day.